Hello, welcome to another episode of More Photography. Uh, today I just had a little stroll out to Lusaka's Elva again. Uh, there wasn't, the plan was not to record anything. Uh, so I didn't bring my DJI Arsenal. So right now I am recording on my cell phone or mobile phone. So I hope the audio here is good and that you can hear me loud and clear. But yeah, when I came, I arrived. Uh, I sat down, I got this new camouflage uh, gear on me and it works really wonders. But when I sat down, it took only a couple of minutes and then a grey wagtail. So I finally learned the name of the bird. It's not called winter, it's called winter in Norwegian, but it's not called winter wagtail, it's called grey wagtail. So when I sat down, a couple of minutes later, a grey wagtail finally landed on one of these rocks here out in the river so I did get a really good picture at least a decent picture of him with this really beautiful background I think I got some video too I don't remember but at least I got a good picture so that is a uh, check on uh, gray wagtail so that is really good I was really happy when I got that one I also saw a strandsnipe on the other side of the river I don't I'm not sure what that is called in English but it's called Strandsnip in Norwegian, so I just leave the English name somewhere on the screen here. Uh, it landed, but he was really uh, skittish. Even though I had the camouflage on, I think he knew I was sitting here, so he didn't do anything for a long time. And he was on the other side of the river with the with the, like the, the background really close to him, so there was not any separation from the bird. So it's kind of hard getting a good picture. Uh, even just seeing the bird along with all that terrain. But I did take some videos, so I might share that one just to see, show you the bird. But uh, the reason why I am recording this <laughs> is that a dipper came, he landed on one of these rocks, but he was behaving really strangely compared to what I'm used to seeing with dippers. So I just, okay, this is nice. I started doing some pictures and videos of him. And then when I looked on my pictures afterwards I can actually see that it's a juvenile dipper and that is the first time I've seen got pictures of and recorded a juvenile dipper so I got really excited when I saw it and I got some really beautiful pictures of him so I as you can see here I have the camera really low to the river here so the tripod is kind of in the river uh, so it's really low and I'm pointing it a little bit upwards as well so I get I get on the eye level, almost below eye level of the bird. So I got some really good pictures of him. I'm currently using the 800 millimeter or two times extender. So I got really close. And when I look through the pictures in the camera, they're really sharp. And that just makes me really happy. Never seen a juvenile dip before. So now I know, uh, now I've seen it and I know how it acts. It's a little bit different uh, than the adults. So I have some videos of him, so you can see how he is. He, he doesn't fish on the water, he just goes around picking insects and food off the rocks, it seems. So that was really exciting, so I was really happy. Really good day. Uh, the plan was not to vlog, just go out, get some fresh air, uh, just enjoy nature, get some pictures if I'm lucky, and then just head home. But since I got all this good uh, stuff today, I want to make this really short episode for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.